Hi, and welcome to Cooked with Clara. My name is Clara. Today we are going to be making a happy 20 minute hake. I am using hake, cauliflower, broccoli, lemon, and butter. Have the fish at room temperature. If you've got the same temperature throughout the product, it's much easier for you to cook it. It'll go fast and you've got even cooking temperatures. With the fish, I'm gonna make cauliflower puree and broccoli florets. Basically, just this, cutting it up, not too small, using the stem and everything. I'm gonna cook this in milk. It makes it creamier, makes it great. So I would say like that is one cup. Yes, one cup and a thingy for good luck. It's not completely covered because we don't want to waste milk. The salt, a bit of pepper. I've got fresh nutmeg over here. You can obviously use your, um, your ground one as well. Just a little bit of a grind over there, not too much. Nutmeg helps to bring out flavor as well. You'd be surprised. You can actually almost use it as a seasoning. It does something beautiful. And there we go. That's it. On the pot. You'll see. It takes like four to five minutes until it boils. Let it cook for a little bit longer. You know, touch it a bit. See. We don't want to kill it completely. We don't want to cook out all the nutrients. To blanch, children, means that you take something and you cook it for a short period of time. So you're just going to drop it into the boiling water, let it go, you'll see this is going to turn electric green. Got proper boiling water, not simmer, nothing. It needs to be boiling, it needs to be hot, 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 hot. I'm going to add two tablespoons of salt, now see this here, in. You can see immediately the colour just becomes like really green and beautiful and electric. Check this out, check the different color. And now I will prepare the fish. Instead of roasting it whole and having a beautiful juicy part here and a dry part here, we're just gonna fold it over. And that means that when you cut it, it actually always like always merges together. It's protein, it's, it's amazing stuff. Now, we're going to take the butter that we've just made. Nice sharp knife. And there you've got a beautiful round um, thingy. So I'm just gonna use it and just break it up and dot it onto the fish, like so. Oh my God, it's gonna be so yummy. It's gonna be really nice. I'm quite liberal with, with butter. Um, I think that life is a little bit harsh, you know, with everything going on in the world and um, butter can make things better, it's like chocolate. So the oven is preheated. As soon as you start, preheat the oven. Otherwise you're going to have to wait for the oven to get to the right temperature and that can be boring or you have too much wine and then you get drunk and then you're not gonna enjoy the meal. I'm just gonna take a lemon like this, squeeze some beautiful... Oh, the more the merrier, you know? The cauliflower puree looks like this. It looks weird, don't get a fright. You can see that the stem has become almost slightly, I don't know, would I say translucent or like, like light green. It's a beautiful color. Cauliflower puree, ready to go. A little bit of milk at the bottom, that's it. Now I'm just gonna zoom zoom it um, with my stick blender. Smooth, smooth, and oh, so delicious. Right, fish goes in. I am looking at 15 minutes, but uh, I stand corrected. Fish in the oven, cauliflower puree has been made, and the uh, broccoli florets have been, been blanched, and I'm going to saute them in butter. So, into the pan, hot pan, salt just a little bit, I know we've already had some in the, in the cooking water, so we don't need a lot. Black pepper, and that's it. We're just gonna take the fish out now, and then I'm gonna plate. How to cut a lemon? Either you cut it in half. That's when you squeeze out all the juice. Or what you can do is when you make lemon wedges, cut it in half, take top and tail it. That always looks, so you call that top and tail, taking the, 
sides off and it looks pretty. Or if you've got a whole bunch of lemons and you're not strapped for cash, cut it like that and you get that super mega sexy thing like that. OMG! Look at that! It's not quite firm yet. Also, whilst I'm here, I'm just going to take the butter and just give it another little, little drizzle doll. Okay, and back in the oven. This is another four minutes of cooking. Oh, ugh. hot ovens make mascara stick together. <laughs> Look at that. You can, you smell, you hear it. The microphone, can you just smell? Cauliflower puree, beautifully smooth. Couple of fuffies, however much you like. Let's go with the expensive looking lemon, because you know, why not? And then I'm just gonna put some butter. Meine Güte, this is now, this is it, kids. This is it. Yay. Happy 20 minute hake. I'm salivating. Mm. Oh, so yum. Thank you for watching the video today. Go to cookwithclara.com and see the recipe there and I'll see you next time. And now for the fun part. Uh, I'm taking the fish out to check it, to show you as well. Ooh. Scheiße! So, how amazingly easy was that? Even you can... no. <laughs> <laughs> You're all idiots, but you can all do it. And I'm super bitch. <laughs>